get up, do not be afraid. When they looked up, they did not see anyone but Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, do not tell anyone of the vision until the Son of Man rises from the dead. shines on us 
The one who consumed everything in the universe allows us to consume him for one purpose, that we may become more and more like him. Jesus wants us to be that light in a darkened world. He wants us to be transfigured so that you and I can be a life force in our families, in our parish, in our community, out to the whole world. And all we have to do is exactly what the Father told them. He tells us, This is my beloved Son, on whom all of my favor rests. Listen to Him. You and I have to put on our ears of faith and listen to Jesus and His words. Allow them to permeate us and to transform us so that we can go forth and be beacons of His glory, beacons of His light into our world. We have to begin by going up the mountain. We have to begin by going up to pray and asking the Lord to transform us, to become more and more like Jesus. Then, and only then, can we make a difference. I don't know about you, but I'm going to climb the mountain because I want to behold His glory. Will you join me? Glory to Jesus Christ. Let us all sing with our whole soul and with our whole mind. Let us sing.
forgive me, my brothers and sisters.
of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you.
Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. That which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those who are in faith, support fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the joy of the Lord, and ever Virgin Mary.
God, Susan partakes of the most precious, most holy, most pure body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of her sins and for life everlasting. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, God of God, who said to your disciples, Whatever you ask when you pray, believe that you shall receive and it shall come to you. We humbly beseech you, bless and sanctify the first fruits which your faithful servants have brought today to your holy church. May these first fruits preserve the life and health of those present here as well as those who are absent. May they be an effective medicine for those who are sick and ailing, as well as a protection against the assaults of the enemy for those who keep them in their homes. And may those who partake of them enjoy the fullness of your goodness and blessing. For you are the God of peace, love, and mercy, and you love mankind. We give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. These fruits are sanctified and blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be thy name. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. 